Hey guys, Lethal Leslie here, and today I'm going to be showing you where to find all the hidden gems in Charter Hill on Cyberpunk 2077. I think there's only about six to find, so let's crack straight into it. So Charter Hill is this section down here, so you can see it's boxed off, and the first marker you're going to want to put is just on the road down here. Let me zoom straight out again so you can see as the box comes up. Just put it on the road here because we need to go down this alleyway. Let me show you where I am in game. So you can see this is where my marker is in game and we need to just go down this alleyway here and take a right. Once you've taken the right you need to actually get on this roof right here. So jump on the plant and then jump on this gazebo here and then turn around. It's not a gazebo. It's a, it's, I don't even know what it's called. I'm lost. And then jump on this roof anyway. And yeah, you're going to find your first one right here. It's a legendary as well, which is awesome to kick us off. We have five more to get into. Let's get into the next one. So we're on to the second hidden gem, and this is a nice easy one for us. It's just down the road from where we were. We were just up here. Now we're down here. So just put a marker on the road. I'll zoom out so you can see. Use this big road as a reference that's going here. Easy to find. And you just want to place it on the road right there. Should be very easy to do and hopefully you'll be able to place it just like I have and you'll be able to see it there and you just want to jump inside here. So you're looking for this fenced off area. You just want to jump in. You can jump straight over the fence, no messing. For some reason I've taken a lot of damage there. That does seem to happen. It seems to glitch out and, you know, it's like you've taken fall damage or something. I don't know what's happened there. And yeah, the hidden gem is just up here. It's not one of the better ones, but it's still pretty cool. That's two out of six done. Let's move on to number three. Now that two's out of the way, we're actually going to just run over to number three because it's very close to where we are. So obviously two is in there. Just run out here across. Take a right here and jump into this area. And you see this little hatch here? It's just down here. Um, you can loot this guy as well as the people down here. There's a lot of little bits and bobs, including a legendary item, which is awesome. So we're halfway there already. Let's go and find number four. So believe it or not, we can actually just run to the next one from here again. So that makes it a lot easier for us. So this is the one we've just seen there. Let's run to the next one. So the way, what you want to do is you just want to run back to the road, back the way we came. We might have to go this way, actually. Let's jump over here. And yeah, this is the road now. This is where we were before. Obviously, we've just got one from in there. And you just want to take a left and run all the way down the road here. And once you get to the end of the road, all you need to do is jump over here and head towards the bottom corner down here. As you can see, it's already popped up. There's some goodies to be had right here. It's not the best one, but that is number four. Next up, we have a triple one because I thought that there was only six, but in fact, there are three here together. So let's go and get all three of them now. Actually, let's not, because since that clip that you've seen me saying, let's go and get all three of them now, I've spent three hours trying to figure out where these things are. I do know where some of them are, two of them, but there's a third one. I don't know where it is, and so I'm going to ask you guys at home to help me out. I know where that one is. I know where that one is, and this is the one I don't know. So I'll put it full screen for you to see. Do you know where this hidden gem is? Because I have no idea. I've looked for ages. It's definitely not in the complex where it's supposed to be, which I'll show you the complex for the other one. And there's only one of the three that are actually where they should be. Two of them you have to do missions for. It's been a bit of a nightmare, I'm not going to lie. Let me close this down anyway. If you know where this hidden gem is, please leave it in the comment section down below for me. I'd appreciate it. Anyway, we're going to go and get the other two now, but both of them do have mission requirements. So let's get into it. And as always, let's start off with where we are on the map. So we're quite close to the water here. Very easy one, in my opinion, to find. If we zoom out here, you can see you can't really miss it. Just look at the edge of the water and just put your tag on the road here. This is the complex we need to be in. Let's go in game now. So the first one we're going to be getting is inside this container here. There are three dead bodies, I believe, and each of them have something on them. But it didn't seem to be anything too amazing, but still a pretty cool hidden gem. Now, for this one, you have to kill the bad guys that are on the other side of this complex. If I look down here, they're not there for me now. But there were loads of guys down there for me. I had to kill them, finish that mission, which I believe was an assault mission. And then this would come afterwards. But let me stress, it did not come straight away. I did have to wait like 48 hours in game. I was waiting for this for ages. I literally thought it bugged out. I thought it's not going to come. But in the end, it did finally come. So you're going to have to be patient with it because it will come in the end. Now, there's another one in here as well, which you get for doing a mission. So I'm just going to show you which mission that is first. 
And here it is. The mission you have to do is I Fought the Law. You won't be able to get this hidden gem and it won't even appear until you've done I Fought the Law first. And that's quite a long mission. So if you've done it, great. If not, you're going to have to do that mission first. It's fine. That's what the game's all about, doing missions and finding cool stuff anyway. So that's not a problem. But again, afterwards, it's nowhere to be seen in this complex. It's not even close to the complex. So God knows where the one I can't find is. But I did manage to find this one in the end. And I'm going to run from here now to this one just so you know where it is. We want to run this way. Once we jump completely over the road then we need to jump into this car park or work area and a bit further down you're going to see a wreckage of about three cars. Now this is the hidden gem you can already see there's a legendary here which is awesome. You got yourself a rare or an epic here as well I think it is a rare. A few nice guns and a few other bits and bobs. It's a really nice hidden gem this one so I'm glad I finally managed to find it but you can see where it was tagged it was tagged well beyond that building we're seeing there yet it was all the way over here so some of them can be quite tricky we have one more in this video to go let's find it so the final one for this episode is actually really really close to where we were you can see that was the original tag for the last hidden gems so just come down this road and you'll see a billboard here and all you really need to do is climb up it. Let me show you right now. So yeah, you're looking for this. It's right next to the other hidden gems. We were only down that road. So just come down that road from where you were if you were following the video anyway. And let's get this one. You have to shoot the ladder and then climb up. Obviously, a little jump is needed by the looks of things. Oh, nice. And it is a legendary to finish off, which is awesome. It's some legendary pants. I don't usually show it, but screw it. I've showed that one now. And that is all... I think seven we found in the end for today's video. There is one still outstanding, so if you find it, congratulations. I'm going to leave that video there anyway. If you liked the video, like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching, as always, and take it easy.